The most indelible and most important memory I have of the Elm Farm is being in Mrs. Johnson's second grade music class in the Raritan Room. She ran a tight ship and the class was interrupted because there was a phone call. And I opened the door, I went over to Blondie Hardy's desk and it was my father on the phone telling me that I had a sister that had been born. And that's uh, Kristen Osiello, class of 2003, current upper school English teacher. And that was the greatest memory I have of the Elm Farm. I was so nervous. I thought my parents were never going to come back on my first day of school. <laughs> so I ended up throwing up all over my teacher. And that same teacher was here when I graduated. Rutgers Prep is that community. It is a place where people, where teachers are, remember you from 15, well, 10 years ago. So I was in the Madrigal Singers. And one thing that I really enjoyed that we did was caroling around the school. We would go to the pre-K through the high school, we would stop by the Elm Farm for the administrators, and we would just sing a number of Christmas carols. The way that the Madrigal Singers really shaped the holiday season at prep was always very special to me. One day in lab, um, we were learning to make smells. I just poured two chemicals together and all of a sudden I had the smell of a banana. It was crazy, it was fantastic. So that's when I realized, you know, this is, this is cool. And then I wanted to learn, well, why do the two chemicals make this sort of smell for banana? And then that, you know, over time became my love for neurology. I'm Jose Torres and I was here from 1997 until 2001. I'm an assistant professor of neurology at NYU. My name is Priya Gore, and I attended Rutgers Prep from 1996 through 2009. I currently work at a healthcare consulting firm in Washington, D.C. My name is Christian Husby. I attended Rutgers Prep from 1990 through 2004. I do natural catastrophe consulting. My name is Tara Osiello, and I attended Prep from 1982 to 1995. I'm a lawyer. My education at Rutgers Prep prepared me for college in a few ways. I think first, Rutgers Prep taught me how to set a goal, map out what it takes to get to that goal, and then execute on those steps. It was everywhere on campus. It wasn't just an academic experience. It was an extracurricular one as well. Well, these small class sizes at Rutgers Prep really helped me prepare for college because I never felt shy about asking a question, and that gave me the ability to always feel like I was important in class and I just, I took that through college and law school and always treated my education that way. So I think um, my education here um, prepared me very well for college. I have to say some of my classes here were actually more difficult than the classes that I had at Harvard. So um, the teachers here were very demanding, but at the same time they were able to, you know, sit down with us individually and really look at what our deficiencies were and try to improve them so that they wouldn't be deficiencies in college. If I were to give advice to a current RPS student, I would say take advantage of every opportunity. You should play varsity basketball even if you're five feet tall. You should sing in the choir even if you're tone deaf. This is the time for you to do those things, gain confidence, gain some leadership skills, and have fun while you're doing it. I would encourage them to not only reach out to their teachers for help when they need it, but just get to know your teachers. And the more that you can do that as a high school student in this community that is very close-knit, and the teachers are always willing to talk to you. It's just incredible preparation for college and professional life as well. I would say uh, try to live in the moment. Sometimes it's nice to just step back and enjoy the process and enjoy um, how you get there. Just stopping and just taking time and enjoying what you're doing, I think it's really important. Give me one piece of advice. I would say it's to pursue your passion. Pursue what's interesting to you, pursue what makes you get up in the morning and be excited about your day. It's about the hard work, it's about giving 100%, it's about following through in a, on your passion. Here I learned that community is important. I think in our society we sort of um, immortalize the individual and uh, revere great individual accomplishments, but I think the best teams are the teams not with all-stars, but teams with players that play well together. And Rutgers Prep really brought together students that were able to um, learn from each other, were able to enjoy each other's company. And that sense of community really made learning fun and made it easy.